Hi, it's Malcolm here. Good morning. So it's um, actually 10.43 on the 16th of the 3rd. So it's quite early in the morning. Um, well, compared to racing, although racing's starting early today for, for some reason. Um, anyway, um, I grabbed the trade software and I came to this race because I'm, I'm doing some final or the trade targeting software. I come to some... Um, some final programming I'm, I'm doing on it and I kind of found this race um, here which is the 1205 uh, Musselboro and as you can see the the favorite is is really strong at one um, at 1.39 which means it has you know uh, statistically speaking it's got a really good chance of winning whether it does or not is another matter but everybody seems to think it does um, bedrock sets a useful standard so should prove hard to beat I like that should prove hard to beat on first start for Ian Jardin following a wind operation the steward should improve from a promising hurdling debut at Catrick in November and is feared most but my software comes up with this one okay which is Bally Crystal cool which actually shows a forecast rank of second now um, in the racing post it's actually fourth forecast rank um, and it's got an FC price of 4.43 so um, a bit of a strange one but the thing that's getting me towards it is one that um, it obviously does well in running it's got a dog PL um, and this score here I mean it's got greens across the board so it's kind of a test for the software um, of how well it works now I think um, this 8.4 price or sorry this yeah this 8.4 price is quite high um and it's 7.8 now so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to place a bet now i'm up to i'm thinking about this actually um why i get my spreadsheet out of course this is my own um my own trading it's nothing to do i'm not saying it's a something you should do or anything else i'm just showing you what i've been doing over the last few days and you can look back on some of my videos that I've been posting all over the place. So I'm kind of like somewhere around here, probably. I'm going to say 3.26. I'm probably a little bit more forward than that. But after three days where I should be there, I'm down here. So I'm not really worried too much about that. So I'm going to go for 3.26. And what I'm going to do is set the um, bet in the default stake at 3.26 today. Just so I don't have to... Um, keep doing it so I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to have a look at something because I think the price has been going out but it's sort of coming back in as well so I think it's going to be up and down but what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that bet at 3.26 okay now I got two actually at 7.8 anyway um, if you open bets I've still got oh, I was dropped a little bit already so I'll update that, see if I can just get that. Yeah, so I'm in at 7.6. And there's a little bit of a gap, which I don't particularly like. But anyway. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a, a trade in. Now, 3.26 is what? Um, hold on, let's get that spreadsheet. Where's my spreadsheet? At 3.26 we're looking for 16 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually double that today because I'm going to leave it um, and come back um, in an hour or so and see what's been happening but it's it's all greens on the card um, it's got the highest score of all of them so I think it's a good dob so or, or a good trade so I think you know we may well have to go in running with it I'm not saying we won't have to go in running to get the actual trade um, but it, it's just green across the board and you, I, I kind of can't, can't resist it um, for a trade at some stage. So um, I think it's a good test for the software and we will find out later whether it worked or not. So um, I'll save that auto cash so that's in and we will see what happens. So I'll come back a bit later and um, probably it's 10.47 now. So I'll come back about 11.50, something like that, or 11.55, 11 about 10 minutes before the off, and we'll see what's happening. So see you in a bit. Bye-bye.
Okay, so this one hasn't gone quite as planned at the moment, um, and it's gone out um, by about 40 pence, which is a little bit um, concerning because it just means that you have to do so much more work in running. Now, um, I've been updating the software this morning, I've highlighted these now, so um, this one still comes out as a, as a good runner and, and the dog PL, so I'm not overly concerned we're going to have to go in running on it and as you can see it's been doing this all morning price going up price coming down um, and it actually reached zero at one stage and it looks like it's heading there again so um, hopefully when we go off we won't go off with um, too much of a deficit um, from the actual um, BSP or the starting price or whatever um, so we don't have too much work to do but um, it, uh, there it goes again, so it's kind of going on and off. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to remove, um, what have we got? It's 12.05, it's 12.01 now. It's 12, oh, there we go, the price is coming down. So it is coming in again now, and it's kind of been doing this all morning. So I'm going to leave that just a minute longer. Um, but I will, if we don't trade out before the off, um, I'm going to just remove that and change it back to 0.16. Um, so that we're we're on our date our target for that actual um state value so as you can see it's going out again and it's kind of let's have a look at the graph yeah so it did come down quite a bit and it it it's kind of like hitting this level here that doesn't seem to want to go down any further than that so unless it suddenly breaks through it but it looks like it's going out well i don't know to be honest with you i'm just sitting here watching it and um with you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the video um, it goes off in about three minutes. Um, oh, here we go. Maybe we might get a trade out, or maybe we should have got a trade out there. So we we could have easily hit our target there, as you saw. Um, but I went for that bigger target. Now maybe I should just no. There it goes. It looks like we got a cash out. Yeah, we got it. So again. The software highlight. I mean, I'm I'm really pleased with that one because the software totally highlighted that.